Hi everyone, it's Mr. Baker here. I'm gonna be reading your bedtime story tonight. So I hope you've brushed your teeth, washed your face, got ready for bed with your pajamas on. I've got my Team Falcon pajamas on here. And we're ready to read our book. Now, me and Moose, you may have seen Moose in my PE videos. We're gonna read Little Stinker tonight. Little Stinker is one of my favorite books. We've gotta try and guess why when we're reading it. So let's start, Little Stinker. Percy was a little fish. He wasn't smart or sporty. He wasn't sweet and kind. In fact, he could be rather naughty. He wasn't that good looking. He was small and kind of spotty, but he was very good at blowing bubbles with his body. Percy's special bubbles often got him into trouble. It's easy to make mischief with a well-timed body bubble. He'd like to lie in wait as other fish were swimming past, then flip them upside down with an enormous body blast. At school, he always tried to cheat whenever he, they had races by blowing stinky bubbles in the other fish's faces. Then using supersonic body burping bubble power, he'd shoot off like a rocket at a hundred miles an hour. Sometimes during lessons, he would wait for Mrs. Trout to turn her back, then he'd let a whiffy whopper out. Then sneakily, he'd use his tail to waft the beastly bubble behind poor Penny Pufferfish to get her into trouble. One day, a poor old hermit crab was reeling from the smell of the bubbly little present Percy left inside his shell. That little rotten stinker, cried the crab, Oh, what a pong. It's time to get our own back and it shouldn't take too long. Hey, Percy, cried the hermit crab. If you think you're so clever, why don't you try and blow the biggest body bubble ever? Percy's face went purple from the pressure as he tried it. Then, blah, he blew a huge one. and the crab pushed him inside it. Oh. It worked, he shouted. Look at that Trumpy troublemakers trapped. And all the other underwater creatures cheered and clapped. Get me out, gasped Percy, going greener by the minute, as the bubble bibble bobbled up and up with Percy in it. Then suddenly, the hermit crab dived back into his shell. Look out, the others cried and tried to hide themselves as well. Oh, see those razor teeth, they gasped. Those evil eyes, good grief, it's two-ton Tom, the tiger shark. The terror of the reef. The tiger shark saw Percy and said, mmm, juicy snack, and opened up his massive mouth and moved in to attack. Dinner time, he laughed, but just before his jaws could close, the bubble burst and all the width waft, wafting up his nose. Ooh. The shark swam off. Hooray for Percy! All the fishes cried, and Percy felt a warm, tingly feeling deep inside. You must be feeling proud, suggested Hermit Crab, and grinned. Well, maybe, Percy said, but then it just could be... Wind! 
That has made me really sleepy. I think it's time to go to sleep. Good night, everybody.